hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is my girl thank you so much for clicking on my video today I'm gonna to be playing in some MAC cosmetics makeup product I have with me the studio fix fluid foundation and the studio fix thick foundation I also have a lot of products which I purchased recently as well so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look please keep watching welcome back like I said, we're going to be playing in MAC Cosmetics products today. I have two foundations which I'm going to be using to do a side-by-side -side comparison. For primer today, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12-Hour Shine Control Primer. That's a mouthful. So I have it in a sample. This is what the full size looks like. I do not have this, so I'm going to be using the sample which I got. I was lucky to have been given a sample after purchasing of um, two MAC powders from Macy's, Macy's.com. I didn't purchase the powders directly from MAC Cosmetics website. I purchased from Macy's because they also carry the line. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, I have normal to dry skin. So I usually get oily, but just around my T-zone. This is a color, it's white. It has a very faint smell of something which I do not know what. And it feels, when I rub it against my hand, it feels like a cream and it's blurring. Now the important thing you need to know about this thick foundation is that it has been discontinued by MAC. So most of the retailers that carry um, beauty or makeup products I don't think you'd find it there I know you can still find the product you know but it's gonna be really hard maybe on Poshmark or maybe if you're lucky a retailer might be carrying it this is what it looks like against my skin Now I think it covered some of my hyperpigmentation, even though I still see some picking through. I didn't apply a lot around my mouth area, so I'm going to do that now. But I think the coverage and the finish is really beautiful. And it is matte, but it's a very comfortable matte. So I try to build up the foundation to a full coverage and I think it's possible to do that but if you have hyperpigmentation or um, discoloration on the skin it's gonna cover it but not completely like you see I still can see my hyperpigmentation peeking through around you but I like the finish the matte finish it's matte but it's not uncomfortably matte it's very comfortable okay guys this is a stick foundation and I don't have any foundation on the side of my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade C55. So this one doesn't come with a pump. This is NC55 and C55. This foundation has a smell. I don't remember it having a smell, but it does. Now this foundation match is not bad, but I think 
it's just a bit olive for me when I pl place it on my skin I can just see the olive the green color in it which makes me a bit uncomfortable so it's not a perfect match but I can work with it it's way better than the if you watch my video on the review of this foundation you see I placed this foundation side by side with the shade NC50 and NC55 NC50 never works for me it's just always light or off on my, against my skin NC55 does the same thing as well which is why I couldn't wear them I try to go for the red shades the NW shades but they're just worse on me so I decided to try C55 which works which which is a better match for me but it's a tad olive so I have smile lines and my foundation tends to go lodge in between the lines and no matter how much I try to get it out sometimes it never does so this is a foundation with just a few drops remember I don't have a pump so I can't tell if it's up to one or more so this is a foundation with a few drops I'm gonna go in with, with some more and try to build it up Okay guys, I'm done applying the foundations and remember this is the side with the stick foundation and the fluid foundation. I think both of them pretty much give this, the same coverage but I feel more matte. I feel the stick side offers a more matte coverage, how it sits on the skin. I feel this is more matte and more comfortable. I feel this, I mean it hasn't dried up already but it feels like every other liquid foundation I mean I expected this one to be to feel a bit creamy since it's a cream foundation but it's feeling like it's it's gonna last longer that's how it feels to me I got a studio fix 24 hour concealer in the shade NC 48 this is what the bottle looks like this color is not so different from my other concealer colors so this is a 24 hour wear medium to full buildable coverage and natural matte finish concealer this is my first time using this so I don't know what to expect hopefully it works well for my skin It's actually matte, but it's blending out nicely. So don't let it sit for too long, because it's just a little bit hard to blend out because I probably let it sit. I should have blended it out immediately. It conceals nicely and it doesn't go off easily. It's a bit hard to blend because I let it sit for too long. So because I let the one on my forehead sit for too long, it kind of got a bit dry. But my fingers, the warmth from my fingers, helped 
it blend out nicely. So another product I purchased from Macy's is the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the shade Dark Deep. So it, it looks like this. And that's the sheet. When you open it, this is what it looks like. This is the, I guess, where the powder comes out from. It's like a small bowl. So there's a strip thing thing in here where you can pull it open. Okay, so when you do that, that's the powder. Comes out like that. It's like a filter, a cloth filter sort of um, fabric in here, which is really nice, where the powder comes out from. Now I got the MAC Studio Fix Plus Powder Foundation as a sample. You know when you purchase a product, they give you samples. So I got it as a sample, but I got it in the shade NC40, which I didn't need. So I don't have any MAC setting powders that are light enough to be used as an under eye setting powder. So what I'm gonna do is mix this powder. So this is what it looks like inside. It's a light nude color. So that's gonna be too light for my under eye. It comes with a powder sponge so I have an empty powder container which I bought from Amazon I'm gonna take this powder from Mac just gonna take that out so I got it out of the case I'm gonna try to get it into the pan I got it out so this is what it looks like in the pan I'm just gonna take some of the dark deep powder I showed you earlier and then add to it just a little this is what it looks like after mixing the two powders I'm gonna use this as my under eye setting powder I, I should have added more maybe I'll do that again okay I see how well you set my under eye so this is a, a mixture of the studio fix plus found powder foundation and the studio perfecting powder another powder I purchased is the Mac mineralize skin finish natural powder in the shade that deep When you open it, it comes with this case here. This is the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder and Mineralize Skin Finish Powder and Natural. Both of them are in the shade Dark Deep. They look the same, but the Skin Perfecting Powder is slightly darker than the other one. So side by side, this is how both of them look. So for my all over face powder, I'm going to be using the Mineralize Skin Finish. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good things about this powder and it's it's not disappointing as I'm applying more and more and keep seeing how it's setting my my makeup beautifully for bronzer I'm going to go in with my benefit hula bronzer in the shade toasted now this is what it looks like To highlight today, I'm going to be using the MAC Step Up Bright Up Extra Dimension Skin Finish Palette in the shade Medium Deep. Then you open it like this. You can give this to someone as a gift without even putting it in a case because it has the two from where you can write your name and then write the re recipient's name as well. And then it opens in here and 
this is what it looks like. Okay, let's use the gold sheet because it matches my eyeshadow. To spray my face today, I usually use my fave, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray in the shade Lavender. But today I have the original in a small or sample size. This is a sample size. I'm not too sure. I'm going to leave it on my screen when I confirm. The spray hole is very big because a lot of products just came out of that tiny bottle. For lips today, I'm going to be using the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Devoted to Chili. Now this is what the color looks like. Okay guys, this is the final look with all of the MAC products I used today and the rest of the other products. I applied the shade NC55 on the left side of my face, which is your right, and the shade C55 in the fluid foundation on the right side of my face. So which shade do you think matches me best? I think NC55 in the stick foundation works better for me than the other foundation. I mean, both of them, I can work with them, but in comparing these two, I think the NC55, the stick foundation, I prefer the stick foundation on my skin. The fluid foundation in this shade is a bit olivey on me. Even though I can make it work, I think I prefer this one, but this one is discontinued. I don't know why MAC, keep discontinuing their foundations it's really just disheartening because there are a lot of people that have complained that they have they found a, a mac foundation that they liked and then mac ended up discontinuing for no reason i think anytime they discontinue a product is because they want to push another new product you know they want people to buy the new product so i hope it comes back because it's a, it's a keeper you know i've had it for a while and I've, I've used it and i know how it sits on the skin it's i feel it wears better than this one this is my opinion i think it wears better than liquid foundation i think it's because of the formula usually you would expect a stick foundation to be creamy and just sticky and just messy right all day but this one is quite different because it is it is matte according to the claims and it does stay matte all day you expect the shade in the liquid foundation to be the same right but I feel there's a slight difference. I like how this one wears on my skin better than the liquid foundation in NC55. So if I were to purchase the liquid or the stick foundation, I will purchase the stick foundation. Now don't get me wrong, this one is also a keeper, but it gets tricky sometimes when I apply it onto my skin. I know we need to buff in our foundation with a brush so it doesn't get tricky, but I don't think that's just the reason. It's not just a brush or the manner of application. I think it's just the foundation itself. Now a lot of people swear by this foundation. I just feel I prefer the stick foundation to this one. Now I also like the concealer. I like the color because it's not so far in terms of color from my other concealers, especially the L'Oreal concealer. I forgot what it's called. On the eyes that I crease in a bit, I think because I let it sit, I let the concealer sit for too long while trying to mix while trying to mix an under eye powder to set the concealer. But I, I like the concealer, I think it works really good. It's matte, so I wasn't expecting anything different. Now the powders, the Mineralize Skin Finish in Natural. What they say about this powder, powder is actually true. From applying it on my skin and watching it set my makeup, I think it's a keeper. I've been hearing so much, it's the first time trying this out, seriously. So I'm very impressed. It's also a multiple use um, product, so I think you use a lighter shade to set your under eye and then you can also use it to contour your face. The darker shade in this line is Dark Deepest, which is I think it's a new shade. Yeah, the Dark Deepest. 
but that one was a bit red on me which is why I didn't buy that now this one I thought it was going to be the same exact color as that one but this the skin perfecting powder is also another found powder I like although I haven't really worn it all over the face so like I always say in my videos when it comes to highlighter I like something that is subtle that I mean it highlights but it doesn't have a lot of shimmer on it that when you just put it it just goes wow and the pigment is just for reference a highlighter palette I really like is the Laura Mercier Illuminating Face Powder the shimmer is very subtle so you can you can't even see it when you apply it to your face I like this one but it's just too pigmented for me I decided to purchase this because it was on sale truth be told it was on sale I purchased it from not John Rock I think it was for 11 bucks not so sure but it was a very good sale so I just grabbed it and I'll keep using it I'll try the other shade which I want to try maybe I'd like it okay guys so for those of you who are returning to watch my video thank you so very much and for those of you who are new here thank you so much for clicking on my video I hope you subscribe I hope you keep coming back don't forget to like and comment as well until my next video do have a blessed day and stay safe out there